Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 63 of Let's Platinum Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Alright, today, let's go really quickly to the Dilapidated Temple, um, because what we're going to do is we're just going to, this is probably going to be our last opportunity to give sake to um, people, and I just want to quickly check if I'm able to do that um, for any other character. I don't think I am, but we may as well quickly check if... If there's any that I can give, it'll probably be uh, the Ashina Sake to the Sculptor, because I don't think we've done that. And it also gives us the opportunity to see if I can um, upgrade any more um, things with the weapons, because I'm pretty good on money right now. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it. Sculptor really doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Alright, what have we got? Yeah, let's go ahead and make Leaping Flame. We can make piercing Sabimaru and golden vortex. Yeah, let's go ahead and do those. All right, leaping flame. A loaded spear with an attached percussion hammer to create flame. Cost spirit emblems to use. Bathe the tip of the loaded spear in flames, making it a dangerously sharp spear and firearm. A charged strike of the spear will knock enemies down and consume them in a fiery blaze. Cool. So yeah, R2 for blazing thrust. A th Frontward thrust with the spear wreathed in flames. Applies burn status abnormality to enemies. Drag is the same as it's always been. And then hold R2 for leaping flame. Charge up your strength, then cleave through surrounding enemies and set them on fire. So it's uh, similar to the cleave type, just with the fire. Uh, it's pretty cool. So let's grab that. Okay, we can also get the piercing Sabimaru. A further improved Sabimaru with a finely sharpened blade costs spirit emblems to use. Repeated attacks with the newly sharpened edge of the blade will damage an enemy's vitality and posture, even through their guard. The blue rust poison on Sabimaru's blade eats its way into enemies and applies poison status. Um, I think this is pretty much the same. So it just pierces the guard now. Awesome. And we can do this one, but we can't. Why? Oh, because I'm missing three scrap irons. Okay, that's fine. So three scrap irons for that, three fulminated mercuries for that and two fulminated mercuries for that. All right, we're doing pretty well here. All right, so we'll just get some scrap irons at some point. In fact, he just said, hey, don't be afraid to go all out. Hmm, good advice. Okay, and we can't talk to her, unfortunately, or we can't give her the sake either. That's a shame. Okay, so let's quickly, oops, uh, go here to this one. One last time, because I want to buy... I think I'm only missing three scrap iron, so I want to quickly get those. I just want to get this all out of the way, um, so that we can just proceed through the rest of the game without too many, um... Too many pause breaks. Uh, but yeah, this is something I really quickly want to grab. And will this give me enough? Enough? I'm not sure. Let's find out. So turn around. Kill the animal. Wow. It's a strong rooster. How, do I, how does our attack power get that high? And it still takes more than one hit to take out that rooster. <laughs> Alright, scrap iron. Uh, let me get that many. And now... Wait, do I have... Let's just do it this way. That one... Dilapidated. It's good that you can go straight to, to that temple. This, this goes relatively quick, I guess. Now I'll cut this bit out. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if this gets us what we need this time. I know I won't have enough money, but I just want to know that I've got everything that I need. Yes, okay. And do I need any more scrap iron at all? I'll need 12 more later. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's quickly get a teensy bit more money. I can't remember how much it was. This will do probably. Probably a little bit overboard, but that's okay. Okay, and we can buy the Golden Vortex. Now, I don't use this one very often, well, at all pretty much, but I'm guessing it could be useful. A large and withered golden fan. Costs, costs spirit emblems to use. Gathers, sorry, gather illustrious golden wind and release it to the full... Wow, let's try all that again. A large and withered golden fan. Costs spirit emblems to use. Gather illustrious golden wind and release it to force enemies caught up in the vortex to face the other way. Can be performed twice in a row. Enemies that have been turned around drop items or money. 
to be considered donations. So gathering golden vortex, use the fan of leaves to wrap yourself in a whirling golden vortex while using gathering golden vortex R2. Donation whirl, release the winds around the enemy, making them face the opposite direction. Additionally, they will drop items and send can be released twice. Aside from strong certain strong enemies, they will lose sight of you and be vulnerable to a death blow. Okay, so that could be useful. All right, now what I want to check just quickly is how many grave waxes we need. So we need three for this, and I've got eight. We don't need any for that. We need four for that, so I only have one left. We need another three, so I need to farm two. And then I need to farm another three. Wow, so I only need to farm five. Holy crap. <laughs> that is quite something. That's quite amazing. All right, cool. Next thing. Let's go now to the... Uh, is it watermill? No, the let's go to the wedding cave door sculptor idol um, one more time. So during our uh, sort of journey through the Fountainhead Palace, we encountered something known as the water of the palace. And when we encountered this, we uh, it said something about, you know, drink to your heart's content. And if you remember here, uh, just before the wedding cave door, there was a, there was someone who was like needing, needing to drink a lot. Uh, remember in the water in this village, in Mibu village, the, um, the water was, no, like, it was like, no matter how much they drank, it wouldn't uh, satiate them or something. It's also interesting that it's called Mibu village and water in Japanese, I'm pretty sure is Mizu. M-I-Z-U, so it's just one letter difference, <laughs> and it's all about water. Alright, so here's the talky talky dude. Licking the pot. Okay, give water of the palace. Okay, for doing this we get another Dragon Spring Sake. Okay, so I'll try with talking one more time. Okay, so he's gulping the water down. Now, if we uh, head outside and we just try and leap, of course. Game couldn't let me get it first go. Seriously, right now? Thank you. <laughs> uh, there we go. So if we do that and we go back to the sculptor idol and rest, uh, and then return to that area, something different will happen. And I'm assuming that this little side quest, I guess, is supposed to give you a bit of background information on how the nobles work and where they came from and all that. Um, but obviously I, I'm not one to look too much into the story. Like, I, I do like to try and show it off if it's there. Isn't that gouging top? Yeah. I'm trying to like hit it through enemies. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. Stop stabbing me. For such a like weak enemy, um, it really does a lot of damage if, if you let that attack um, go through. Alright, so doing that... Whoa, there we go. And now the noble's here, and you can just kill it in, in one, one shot. Um, 
That's weird, that's the first time the nobles actually noticed me. And we get five treasure carp scales from doing that, so pretty worth it there. Um, yeah, so yeah, he turns into turns into a noble after drinking the water. So like I said, I don't know exactly what that means in terms of the story. I don't know if it means that all the nobles uh, are, like exist the way they do because they were like super thirsty and drank the water of the palace. I don't know. It's weird, but it's there. Um, okay, now I think, from memory, I am only missing... Well, right now we're going to go to near the Pot Noble here. Um, I think from memory I'm only missing... Um, what is it? Two Treasure Cup scales, but I actually don't know where they are. Um, I'd have to sort of look through all the different areas in the game to find out where those last two are. Um, because I'm just not sure, unfortunately. They're not, it's not mandatory, like I have enough now, but, uh, but it is, it would be nice to get them. So in order for me to check, so I have 16, all right, let me try and work this out. All right, so if you fed Koromori's um, truly precious bait to the great carp, um, you will find this here, and it is another Lapis Lazuli, our fourth, no, fifth one, because I skipped that boss fight but that's okay that mini boss so you you'll find it here if you fed him harunagas you will find this at harunagas pot now i was very confused by this because i had done harunagas before and i had worked out what happened um but when i did koromori's i thought something was broken i was like where is he he's supposed to be here but then i realized what's ha what happens is whoever's uh precious bait or truly precious bait you feed turns into a carp right and this pot is tipped over the like towards the edge, so Koromori uh, is down here, <laughs> and he is now a freaky freaky carp. Um, but let's talk to him. He's still after the scales. All right, and we can purchase some more stuff from him. First, uh, let's get the mask fragment left. All right. So now we have the left and right fragments. We do not have the main piece, which is the dragon piece. That's something that we're also going to get today. So now something I want to check. Oh, wait, I think I might have gotten everything. So 5 plus 7 is 12, plus another 12 is 24, plus another 12 is 36, plus another 2 is 38, plus 4 is 42. Damn. <laughs> I thought I had it. I was like, ah. So there should be 44. I... Hmm... I'm going to endeavor to figure out where those last two are so that I can make sure that I get everything. But, uh, God, it's confusing me as to where it's supposed to be. Because I had the same issue in one of my, in one of my playthroughs. Like, the first time I did this, um, surprisingly, I was pretty confident that I got all 44. And then, um, and then the second time I did it, it didn't work out that way. Uh, what was I just saying? Uh, oh, I need to go get that. Okay, so Ashina Castle, Abandoned Dungeon Entrance. Let's go do that. So, alright, this episode will probably be... Um, hmm. I th maybe I have time. Like, I really would want to just finish this area off, but um, I don't know how long it's going to take. So, we'll see. If I'm quick, it won't take very long. But I would have preferred to do it at the beginning of the episode, but I just wanted to get everything out of the way. Uh, like, basically this will be the... this I'm going to do what I'm about to do, and then try and work out where the two treasure carp scales are, and then um, we'll see how much time I have left, I guess. Let's do it like that. Okay, and we're there. I should have known this wouldn't take long to, to load. Okay, so... Care to purchase an offering? All right. So we have it here, Mask Fragment uh, Dragon, for 5,000. Hmm, 5,000 is a little on the expensive side, but we've got so much money, it's fine. So let's see, oh, wow, I've got 4,000 right there. Okay, let's sell, let's do three. And then let's do two, three. Yeah, snap seeds are pretty worth it, but let's just sell three of those. And there we go. Nice. 
And now we get Mask Fragment Dragon. And if you leave, you get the Dancing Dragon Mask. A dragon's head dancing mask, made whole by piecing the fragments back together. Grants the ability to exchange skill points for attack power in the Sculptor's Idol, uh, Sculptor's Idol menu. The Okami warrior women would wear this to the Fountainhead Palace. There, they would dance as an offering for the dragon. Mysteriously, the ritual left them bringing, brimming with vigor. So I think the way that works is basically for every, I think it's like five skill points, it's here, enhanced attack power skill points. It says spend skill points with enhanced attack power. Yes, not enough skill points, but it doesn't tell you how many. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think it's, um, I think it's five, but I'll confirm it on, on the screen for you. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to search for the last two um, uh, treasure carp scales and then I'll do that, come back and then I think we'll have to end the episode by that point. But the next episode will be the end of the Fountainhead Palace and then after that we'll start working on basically finishing the rest of the, the first playthrough. So we're almost through the first playthrough and then the second one should be fairly quick. Um, Alright, but I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we've travelled back here to the palace ground sculptor idol, uh, and thing I first thing I need to say is uh, I was um, mistaken. It's not 44; it's 42. So we actually do have all of them. Um, I got confused. I think I, I don't know. I I went back to look, and I was like, where are these? You know, 44. And then sorry, I looked at it closely, and I was like, oh, it's 42. So. Yeah, well, it's better that it's 42 because it means that I would now have all of them. Alright, so we don't have much time left on the episode. Uh, I think it was like three or four minutes. So I am, instead of going to fight the actual boss, I'm just going to sort of make it to the boss. And then that way we can fight it next time. And uh, yeah. So basically, I think, if I'm not mistaken, all the loose ends are tied up. Like, I've, I've done everything that I need to do. Um, in terms of all the stuff that I can do so far. Because after this, it'll be... Well, an event is going to occur after I defeat the final uh, boss of this area. And then, uh, yeah, we move on to... to the final part of the game. Alright, let's see. So we've got some lightning happening. I should probably put Gutchins back on. That was actually really dumb of me. Run! Yeah, do it. Ah, missed. Fighting these guys, like... Nice. I only got one, though. Ah. Go, 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 go. Yes. Alright, should be good. Attack me, attack me. Gotcha. That timing is not super easy. It's a little more delayed than it seems. Someone else noticed me? There was a red indicator mark, but I don't know if they noticed me. Oh, oh, you might have. What the hell is this? There you are. The ball lady. Oops, that was not what I was meant to do. Luckily this one's pretty easy. Don't know what it is about this. <laughs> you just literally keep attacking. Alright. We are almost done. Oh, by the way, while I was searching for the... I, w I was actually searching for treasure carps. Scales. Huh. I don't think I killed this one. Um, yeah, while I was searching for it, I um, ended up killing a few enemies, so... Got a little bit more experience, and I also got a few scrap irons that I'll need for later, so there was that. I was killing the enemies in, um, in the Harada Estate. Ow, my feet. Okay, I think there is one more Sculptor Idol. And also, like, very, very long ago, I may have said that there was, an, there was a trophy for collecting all the Sculptor Idols, or for, like, communing with it, all of them at least once. That is not the case. I apologize for saying that if I did. And I don't have time to watch every single episode back to make sure that I didn't say that, so... <laughs> okay, up here... 
I think we've, we're done now with all the enemies. There might be some more, but I don't think so. Okay, here's the final Sculptor Idol. Oh, well, the final Sculptor Idol of this area. Just want to have a quick check. Yeah, there's no, there's no others. Alright, cool. Man, I've heard so many cop cars and... Um, what do you call Fire engines today? It's been crazy. Okay, we're there. Alright, so we'll leave it here and we will ascend this staircase next time to face off against the the big bad, shall we say. Um, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 63 of Let's Platinum Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.